Now we have all data sources created. They are the job title roles. This is the main structure we like to report. Job title roles do have members connected with person in org. The members are the identities. Job title roles has as well Active Directory groups assigned. That is represented by AD group in AD org connected as well with the job title roles. And the members could be in a department and this is what the department structure or data source here shows. Together with that, I can now start the layout. I close completely here my data source. And the first thing I like to do is to add the main data source to the report. Therefore, I step here to the dictionary tab. Here I can find my data sources. Here they are. And I grab my job title rules. With the left click, I select the data source and drop it directly to the report. What I see here is the selection window that allows me to select all the values I like to display. I like to display the full path that shows the complete information. I don't take the display because full path is a text field. Now, to know that, I have to look, for example, in object browser. Then I need Additionally, all the managers of my role. This time I will take the display. The reason for that is the manager, normally it's a UID and uh, I don't want to see UIDs in my report. So I use, the, uh, I use the display. And for example, the description could as well be a good idea. So all of these roles are described. That looks good for me. I check additionally the header box. The header box says I get not only a data band, I get as well a header band. And then I say, okay, here we are. This is my first data source. And if I jump into the preview, you can now see whatever else interesting the header information or, and then a couple of roles, some with managers, some without. Next step is, to bring that in a specific format so that it looks a little bit nicer than this rough report here. I switch back to the editor page. Here we are and start formatting. My first idea is to reformat here the data band so that all the fields gets not displayed in a table structure. Therefore, I have to expand the data band a bit. Here we are. My header information should be the full path of job title roles. So I take all the other fields and move them just a little bit down below. Here it's now my job title roles and to get that displayed with a small intent here on left and right, I format that to a nice bar and to make that to a better divider. And I like to change colors of the element. So first of all, I take the element color picker, which is here, and I select here a blue color. This is now a nice blue background color. There are, as you can see here in the color picker, many predefined colors. I can here mix up some more colors if I like to, but typically people like to work with RGB codes and uh, to allow that, I should better go back to the properties page, which is here. I can see the brush over here. And if I flip down the brush, I can insert here RGB codes just to ensure that the correct color is chosen. For my purpose here, the blue is good enough, but as you can see, black on dark blue, it's not really good to read. And so I change as well the color of the font to white, which I can do with a color picker for fonts. Here we are. And to make that a little bit better readable, I press bold. So now we do have a bold color. Next step is to ensure that all the other fields down below here gets displayed nicely. First, we have the description. So I take the description here, put it to the report. A two line description is good with me. I expand that to the end. That is more or less two lines. I need as well a display for my description that says, hey, this is a description. This is over here in the header band. I take that, put it in front and adjust the size. Here we are. This is my description. And now I have to add the managers. This is my first manager, person hat. And it's a good idea, by the way, to give that only one line. There's only one line now. And 
I can add as well the second manager. I put it, I put it directly at the end so that I get a two column view here. This is my second manager. And now I need the displays. That is the first display field. Doesn't matter which one I take, especially because I want to rename the field in seconds. This here is my manager field. Double click allows me to edit the text manager. And I need another one, that one here. This is my deputy manager. Here we are and a little bit adjusting. So this is good with me. And to see the result, I shorten a little bit the data band and I step to the preview. That's good. Job basic roles and so on with data. There are some managers and all of these roles are unfortunately not described, but I can live with that. Back to the edit page. Next thing I like to create, it's a nice format here for the header band. There I want to have the site title, something like job title roles. So I delete the old display and I add a text field. Yes, of course, it is possible to reuse the text field we already have. And it is blue with white. That is not what I like to do. So I take the color pickers again, set a no fill for the background color and set a dark gray for the title information. Bold, it's nice with me, but I need a little bit more uh, size here for the font. Okay, 22 may be enough. Job title rolls, not too bad. And um, the next thing I like to do is to add a logo here to the right a corner of the header band. Therefore, I need a little bit more space. So I select the header band, put it down a bit and I add now a picture. Here we are. This is my picture. I take the picture directly from the hard disk. There in my lab folder here, training courses, lab BRP2, there is a picture. I take the picture, identity and access management, the company, perfect. Okay, it takes a bit. Here is the logo. It's a bit heavy, so I just scale it down a bit. Therefore, I use here on the property side multiple factor, for example, uh, 0.6. It's a good value. Oh, not too bad. I move it directly here to the right corner. So here we are. And maybe it looks good to have a line here underneath of all of that. So again, here to the elements, there should be as well a picker where I can get a line, horizontal line. Here we are. This is a complete line, goes from one end to the other. It's a bit too much above. So let's pull it a bit down. And because it is a very thin line, I add a size of three, might look a little bit, bit better. So now we have a line. Latest thing here to adjust again the band. That's that one here, that's too much, a bit less. So let's look into the preview. Yep, that looks good. I will take that. What we can see here is that uh, we have now very nice formatted rules. The header information here of each role looks a little bit thin, so maybe I have to increase the size about two points or so. And once that is done, the next step I like to do is for the complete report to add a footer line, because I can see here that are more than one page. So a page information could be good. And I don't want to create that on my own. Here I like to take something that already exists in some other reports. To do so, I step to the page one. First thing, I select the band I want to form it. I say 10 points. That is now a little bit more heavy. And if I look into the description, it's the same size. So from a layout perspective, that will look good. Then I step to the, uh, to the end of the report. There I need now a footer line. And to get that footer line, I can take one of these footer lines, for example, out of my element shapes here. Somewhere are the footer lines cross footer or maybe there is another footer. That is the way to create that from the scratch. But I don't want to do that. What I like to do is I like to take one of the other reports here on the left. They are all coming with a footer line. And this time I like to copy the footer line. So 
I open one of these other reports. Here we are. I move to the button. There is a footer line I like to copy. Right click, copy. I step back into my report, right click, paste. And here we are and can position the page footer into the report. One paste too much, so just delete that. And I position the whole frame a little bit to the right. So, and intended to the left. And that is now my footer line. Let's see that in the preview. Here we are. A date value, one of 27 pages. And that is what I expect.